Today, we are gonna be comparing Japanese ramen versus Japanese udon versus Japanese soba. Okay, we're at the Asian market getting all of our ingredients for our ramen, soba, and udon. Let's get this one. Tokyo Shoyu Ramen. Udon. Bamboo shoots. And Tokyo Nick. Komatsuna. Beef. Okay, let's head back home. We got. Tokyo Shoyu Ramen Udon Noodles, which are a little bit thicker, and we have Soba, which is a lot thinner. They all taste different and have different toppings, so let's try making them. To make it more fun, I'm gonna be garnishing it with all these different things. For the ramen, we're gonna use Tokyo Green Onions. Tokyo Green Onion is more white. It is more oniony. Seasoned bamboo shoots. Komatsuna. Before we cut off the stems, you wanna blanch it in a little bit of water. Take it out. Put it in some cold water to stop the cooking process. It tastes a little bit like bok choy. And ramen usually always has pork bellies. We got some of that. For udon, we have green onions. The trick is to just cut the green onions really, really thinly. And some beef. For soba, we have some tempura. Egg noodle, two soup packets. These are like flat udon, but usually they're a lot more cylindrical. Soba noodles over here. Here it is. Soba is buckwheat noodles. You can see these are like fresh noodles. <laughs> That's probably all fat. Ramen usually has a very strong flavor. Um, udon has a very, very subtle flavor. And then soba, it's, I'm not sure. Komatsuna, pork belly, bamboo shoots, and Tokyo Negi. We're just gonna keep the udon super simple. Beef, and green onions. For our soba, we're gonna use green onions, and our tempura. This looks so good. <laughs> Let's start off with Japanese ramen. As we mentioned before, the noodles are egg noodles and the soup base is a soy sauce base. It's like a salty broth. It has a lot more rich flavor because there's a lot more fat inside of the soup base. Mm. Ramen tends to have pork belly or some kind of pork product. Similarly, the pork is very fatty, very salty. It's so good and really complements the ramen. Oh. And in Japan, it's actually polite to slurp. It's kind of actually considered a norm. So if you don't slurp, it's kind of like, who are you? That was like one of the best homemade ramens I made. Udon is a lot more filling. As you can see, the noodles are a lot thicker. They're made from wheat, softer, but more chewy. Mm, it tastes totally different. Other than the fact that they're both noodles and soup, and the soup base is a lot more subtle. It's more of a fish broth. It's not seafoody at all. I would highly suggest if you haven't had udon before to try it out. The beef and the green onions are subtle enough to help enhance the flavor. If you like more refined taste, I would definitely go for the udon. Ramen is a lot more like in your face. Let's try our soba. Soba tends to be eaten cold a lot. Soba is made from buckwheat noodles. They're like darker color and they're very straight noodles versus ramen, which is like very curly. The buckwheat is definitely a lot more like buckwheaty. <laughs> I decided to garnish it with shrimp tempura. It's so good with this too. When it's eaten cold, you usually just don't even garnish it with anything. I would say the soup base is kind of like an in-between for a ramen and udon. It does have like the saltiness of the ramen, but it's definitely a lot more muted. Definitely has a lot less fat than the ramen does. I would say like the one that tastes the most Japanese, soba noodles. It just has like the cleanest taste. It tends to be eaten more like as a snack or a side dish. My personal favorite is definitely the ramen. Everything just complements the ramen so well. But they're all so good. How about for you guys? Write down which one in the comments below is your favorite. He's like, please sir. Now that we've compared them all, let's start the vlog. Gatsby, ohayou gozaimasu. Ohayou. 
Gatsby, what do you hear? Corgi. 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 Laurel. Corgi. Laurel. Corgi. Laurel. I'm here with my friend Ed. He's my college friend from uh, from college. <laughs> We're gonna go and grab some lunch at Din Tai Fung DTF. It's a Shaolin Bao place. So, see you guys there. He's the man. Nice. So Ed's never been here before. What? Are you serious? Okay. So see, they have these over here. They're really good. They're filled with soup. The shallow pile. Right? How many dozen are we gonna eat? I know. I don't know. So Ed's like bulking up, just like me. Yeah. We're, we're like the on. same body type, so he needs to eat a lot of food. So you gotta figure it out. Ectomorph. We're ectomorphs. Yeah. Ooh, mm, these are really good too. Do you like greens? Uh, yes. I eat everything. Man. Good. The Taiwanese cabbage is super good. Shallow pile. Let's get like two of those, so we both get our own. <laughs> Sounds good, man. Ryan, how do I get big arms like you? I, I just try to squeeze things. You know? <laughs> yeah. Sounds good. Uh, yeah, let's do it. Okay, let's oh, do Shabai, it. yeah, absolutely. Oh, that looks good. Raised beef noodle soup. This one? Yeah. Sweet and sour spare ribs here. So good. Yeah. Shaolong bao, which is like a soup dumpling, there's soup inside of those. You bite through the skin. Right. The soup broth comes out. There we go. Beef noodle soup here. Mm. Hot stickers here. Check it out. They're all connected. Uh, all right, thanks. You can just leave it. Mm. Wow, that's good. <laughs> that's a wonton. It looks spicy, but here it's not. It's not spicy. Don't worry. <laughs> that might be my favorite one so far. Yeah. We got a shao mai. This has shrimp on the top. Mm. Okay, we completed everything. We ate all of that food. It was super good. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Edward actually has a channel called Edward Chang Violin. Covers of songs. Yeah. Yeah, he did my favorite one is the uh, Ecruteque City from Pokemon Gold and Silver version. Check it out. Yeah. Yeah. Yo, I think I, I played it for you, or I will play it for you guys <laughs> now. <laughs> You're ruining the shot, Gatsby. And now it's time to hit the gym. We're gonna hit some more. Gotta get these legs done for the summer. See you guys there. Ow, 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 ow. A lot of you guys were asking me what that belt that I wear on certain days. Um, and that is called a weightlifting belt. And what you use it for, no, it doesn't like make your waist skinnier or anything like that. It's supposed to help squeeze your core so that when you are lifting really, really heavy weights, it stops you from getting injured. I'm gonna stop off at the post office, then head off to the aquarium store and check out some corals. I can't surf, but I know someone. They can't teach us if you want to. That's a shark egg there. And there he is. There's another shark egg. There's a new place it's good I got a green finger leather coral, which I think looks really cool. I think I'm gonna stick it somewhere over here. Finger leathers tend to do better in medium flow and medium to high light. I think this location will be pretty good. Now we just have to wait a few hours for it to open up and see how it looks. There it is, all open up. You can see all the little polyps. And the nice thing about these are that they're pretty hardy and good for beginners. And here's what the tank looks like today. Check out how crazy the explosion of orange oxide zoanthids I have there. Remember, I started off with like 10, and look how many is like covering the rock there. The Monty cap is also healing up. As you can see, there was still a black spot in the center of it, but it has healed up a lot since last week. I moved the toadstool leather to this new spot. I think it will look a lot better here. There's also will allow a lot of room for when it grows larger and larger. It looks very happy here. The Candelabra Gorgonian is also doing super well. All those golden polyps on it have returned. It looks all nice and healthy and fuzzy again. On today's menu, we have some mice's shrimp. Grab a little bit of aquarium water, pop it out, stick in the aquarium water. Do. 
And that's your aquarium update. I do it because I get it. I got billion dollar credit. If you got a million dollars, you can put it up and bet it. I'd just be like, hello, hello, but I never could salute them. Young money, I do it for the youth fam. I just gotta grab a few quick things at Target. Almond milk, coconut milk, soy milk. Did you hear the latest trend? Cockroach milk. Cockroach milk, the ultimate superfood. Scientists think cockroach milk could be the next superfood. I mean, we were kidding. Insect dairy alternatives could be the next superfood trend. No, no, no. How's it going, sleepyhead? You sleepy? This is a sleepy corgi. I think that means we need to do something. How you like to sit like that? Is that a comfortable seat? Hey, hey look what so, it is. Sean, oh, next year. So, we just filmed the video for Sean's channel, and oh, yeah, by the way, Sean's channel is called Sean's Secrets. And Nick's channel is called Oh Boy It's Nick. And we're doing a video for my channel now. We're gonna play a game, an old game that we haven't played in a long time on the Wii U called Game and Wario. Nick's favorite game because he is just so great at drawing. Whiskers. Peekaboo. The, where the wild things are. A dragon. Dragonite. Bush baby. I'm <laughs> What the heck is anything like an owl? What will he do this time? Let's see. Soda cone. Soda. Wow. Uh, cream. Cream soda. Yes. Uh, cat food. Cat food. Uh, water. Dog food. Dog food. <laughs> That's oh, a dog. Yeah. <laughs> Interviewer. Reporter. News. Transcript. Here we go. <laughs> Tombstone. Yeah. What? <laughs> Basketball. Hurdling. Oh. Uh, Puma. Uh, prey. Feet. Predator. Koala. Um, it, um, bear. Polar bear. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Eraser. Cardboard. Uh, Brownie. Sandpaper. Yes, you got it! Sandpaper! Yeah. Wow. Let's see if you can get this right. Oh, shoot. This, I forgot how bad Nick draws. I know. <laughs> hey, watch it. Um, <laughs> go, Nick, draw something. Banana. Broom. Chopsticks. This could be anything. What the? Oh, I got it! That's a chopstick! Chopstick. <laughs> it's the top one. <laughs> uh, Wait, what? Oh, what? <laughs> what? Oh my god. You gotta think how Nick thinks. It's the hospital. <laughs> oh my yeah. god! Um, mouse. Mouse oh god, I was gonna say mouse. <laughs> <laughs> maybe it is. <laughs> it's like a mouse is carrying a box. Yeah. <laughs> Ratatouille. Stuart Little. Rain? Rain, not sand. Rain, you have horse, like, horse thing. <laughs> antlers, they have antlers. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Yay. Sorry, Nick. Yeah. <laughs> Bye. Thank you so much to everyone for watching today's vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to check out our new Corgi on Fleet greeting cards. We have thank you cards, congratulation cards, and of course, birthday cards. And some of them are even signed by Gatsby and me. The congratulations cards, I know a lot of you guys are getting those for graduation, which is like a great idea. Other than that, we'll see you guys in the next vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed the ramen. Good night, everybody. See you on episode 600. Today, we are gonna have a taco making party for Gatsby and his friend Nico. Mm -hmm.